Hello, it's British Legion, and yes, I am a happy man. Uh, I've just finished my um, Empire of the Dead Wolf Werewolf faction, so I'll show you that in a sec. But more importantly, uh, I've got into another game system. <laughs> uh, it's not my fault though. Um, it was my birthday, as you all know, everyone knows that, uh, last week. And my mate Steve, uh, aka The Maniac, sent me a really, really nice present in the post. Not only did he send me the limited edition collector's singing and dancing rule book for Relics, uh, which is signed by the game designer, Gavin Moorcroft, and uh, it's number 151 out of 200. That's amazing. Uh, he sent me a complete whole faction of a faction that's not even available yet. Uh, well, it is sort of available, but not. Um, it's the, the Raiden. I think that's the correct pronunciation. Uh, which are basically like uh, little gremlin goblin things in armour. You know, like knights, knights in armour. And they're awesome. I'll show you in a minute. I've base coated some of the troopers and I want to get some of them painted. So uh, it looks like I'll be getting into relics. Ha <laughs> ha! Right, so here's my uh, wolf, werewolf uh, faction for Empire of the Dead. And you can see I've finished off the... Um, Sort of the lesser troops, the um, what you call it, the soon becoming wolf men, I think, I'm not sure. And then you've got the natural wolves on the sides, and then you've got the pack leader and the beast master at the back. So, yep, yeah, there I've got closure on them, finished them off, another, another faction done. So, I've got a few more factions left to paint, so that'll be up and coming soon among relic videos. Ah. So here are the copper ops, and they are really, really nice. Quite heavy, very heavy. Apparently these were supposed to be done in resin, but they ended up being done in uh, pewter. And the detail is shockingly good. Uh, obviously they come with it. There's their feet down there. It's going to be uh, interesting how I get these uh, on the base. But I'll give it a bash. And you get four of them. And then moving over, I have got the Baron and his flag bearer and the musician. So I'm looking forward to doing them as well. And again, the detail. Let's have a look at the musician. Let's have a bit of a focus. There you go. Awesome. And then what I've actually put together so far is the six troopers. And they've they've come with uh, shields. They come with three blank shields and three shields with um, nice little motifs on it, embossed motifs, motifs, motifs. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they look pretty cool. I say all black undercoated so far. And as we speak on Skype, I've got the uh, the gnome himself, Steve. I mean the maniac. And Sam he's well, Sam well, <laughs> Sam well. And he's actually painting. Raiden as well because he's this weekend I think he's going to a tournament with his uh, mate Spud and uh, if you're at where are you going where are you going at uh, the weekend Doncaster Doncaster and you're going to actually be participating in the uh, tournament well unless there's an odd player then I'll sacrifice it I don't know see what happens see what mood I'm in ok so if you're in that area drop in and if you like relics yeah, that's a good place to go What's that? Is that your flag bearer? It is. Has yours got like a, a name for your faction? Kill the Nurem. Kill the Nurem. There you go. I don't know yet. I've no. not really thought into that. Oh well. Should I, should I ask you the masses? Ask the masses what, what you call Steve's faction. No, somewhat sensible. And if Spot's watching, I don't want you to come in because you don't care. Right, it's come to the end of the day, it's Friday afternoon, and uh, I think I'm going to carry this video until tomorrow. Sound effects from uh, the maniac in the background. And uh, I managed to uh, pin one, the uh, the coppola, so hopefully once, once that's dry tomorrow we can see if it stands up to the test of going on the stand. And uh, I'm on to the pinning up the second one. And 
with a quick tip for the bases, you know you get the slot in the middle, and you've you know if you put gravel on that with glue, it's just gonna go through the middle. Uh, just cut cut a bit of paper and PVA it, and uh, wait for it to go nice and dry, and then you can put your gravel on without it going through the middle. That's beautiful. Yes. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> uh, and there you go. There's another leg I'm just pinning. So you can get a fine pin drill and pin the top of the leg. It's not impossible, but um, that one, that one you're looking at was a bit trickier. But uh, I'm getting there. So I'll catch you tomorrow. Say bye, Steve. Bye, Steve. All right.